Mark Rubarczyk, and I am part of the Movember team from Viewer and Walnut Street Labs. Hi, I'm Benjamin Bach. I'm the community evangelist at Walnut Street Labs, and I'm also on the Movember Viewer team. My name is Daniel Hall, 23, and I am part of the Movember team running here at uh, Walnut Street Labs and associated with Viewer.com. So November is a month where men grow mustaches to spark a conversation to bring awareness to men's health issues. So prostate cancer, testicular cancer, and mental health. So hopefully uh, people ask questions about why you're growing a mustache and that will spark the conversation. And hopefully that prompts men to go to the doctor and think you have something wrong with you. Why are you participating in November? So the, the real reason why I'm doing this is that seven months ago, I lost my little sister to a very aggressive form of cancer. And I thought that by growing a mustache, this would be a good way to at least bring awareness to cancer issues, whether, even though it's men's cancer issues, prostate cancer, testicular cancer, or mental health issues. So uh, that's why I am doing this and growing. What personal growth have you experienced? Well, you know, uh, I get pretty specific about uh, you know, how I maintain um, my appearance. So doing this was kind of a struggle for me because it's not something I'm used to and not necessarily something that's always in style. But, uh, you know, I was willing to sacrifice that, make myself a little uncomfortable to, uh, you know, make a statement and do something a little different to bring some attention to something that's important to me. I've noticed that based on the shape of my mustache, um, that people, I think, generally think I'm not frowning, so I'm trying to just smile a lot more and indicate that I'm not really like any overbearing um, or intimidating person that needs to be feared. So just trying to be conscious of um, being as kind and over overtly uh, smiley as, as possible to compensate for my frowny mustache. How has your sex life been? I am not ashamed to admit that I've actually experienced an increase in sexual activity with my um, committed in a relationship. I work all the time, but I think the presence of this um, masterpiece of hair has actually made me even more irresistible. So um, my girlfriend and I have uh, been in much closer contact. Pretty steady. Uh, I can't say there's been any interruption to the uh, regularly scheduled program. What does December 1st hold? Um, more of the same. I think I'm going to deconstruct the biker mustache and kind of cut off the sides so that I look less frowny and um, perhaps more sophisticated because that's uh, what I am. I'm a very sophisticated dude. Um, the mustache, or, or November, is, to me is an excuse to um, grow something scratchy on my face um, and I need an excuse in order to get my girlfriend to say okay to it, so um, I'll probably hold on to it as long as it's cold. December 1st holds a razor in this hand, shaving cream in this hand, and this thing coming off. December 1st holds uh, my first opportunity to shave this off, first of all, and go back to my regular sexy look. <laughs> what is your fundraising goal? Enough to make it worth it. So uh, I work for a startup and a, a network of startups and we're constantly concerned about scaling and monetization and for me this Movember thing is um, immaterial to fundraising. I certainly care about men's health um, but it's not my operative um, focus. More than zero. 